Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Thursday, January 3rd, 2019. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here is a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Uh, one thing right here, we, we've gotten a pullback, and uh, that was early yesterday morning, followed by a continuation higher throughout the day. Another pullback this morning. Uh, and now again another rotation off the lows this is also happening off of the rejection days or rejection tail day here that midpoint and that midpoint comes in at 2450 that's a very clean area of support right now that bulls are trying to keep bid uh, after bears uh, gave up the lead at that point so they had a downward move here once price pushed back above 2452 Bulls were able to defend it, defend it, defend it. Uh, and so far, that's going to be the key level there that if broken sometime over the next day or two, we could see more weakness that challenges this low or perhaps tries a higher low off 2400, something like that. But if we can hold this level short term, we could see more of an upward push again to return back to the FOMC key level from December 19th, which is the 27 rather the 2586 half level 2586 half so again as long as this near term 2450 holds intact we have a shot at bouncing back into this level now what happens after that who knows again we've been in a downtrending market it would not surprise me if price bounces and then sees another round of selling pressure that could come out and challenge these lows again this looks like a strong low but again we gotta see if it can continue to hold and if so, uh, breaking back above 25.29 and holding would be a big deal for bulls, at least on a near-term basis, for a shot at returning at 2,700 and perhaps back to 2,800. So again, 25.29, 25.30 is a very important level here. 24.50 is a is a, an important level in the near term. If we take a look at the NQ, very similar setup here. Um, strong rejection pushes back above the 6150s that was the high there that was the stop run day a retest after stop run day a couple of absorption days here this is a retest of the 6150 that held yesterday and right now we're seeing a bit of an inside day here again that's the key level on the near term breaking below that level would suggest some retests back toward the recent lows of 5800 uh, if we can hold 6150 then breaking above 6050 would open up the potential to rally as high as 7200 and maybe even down into 7100 somewhere is that so this is a an important spot in the chart right now uh, it's important on the way that it rejected here recently how it's held uh, and how bulls are able to create rallies here in the near term can we continue to hold higher support that is what is very important because holding 6150 opens up upside that could result in a move as high as 71 to 72 over the course of the month, not very quickly. The quick move is back to 6600, which is the FOMC key level. That's the near-term trade. And then it would not surprise me if we saw another round of weakness from there. Um, but overall, can price get above 64, 64.50 and hold at some point if it can? It could be very bullish. All right, let's take a look now at crude oil. You'll notice here that crude oil has had a very, very tight range over the last few days. Uh, if I bring this up and quantify that into a four-day range, you'll notice right here, the last four days, very, very narrow, gave us a compression signal right there that suggests that we will likely see a major breakout uh, at some point here very soon, and it could be a move that looks something like this or even like this or like this anytime you have very narrow four-day range like you did here 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 right all those times you saw some sort of expansion that came in the following few days this is a very important zone up here because we've had uh, no lasting days of uptrending behavior that that are two days in a row instead it's all been downtrending behavior so after yesterday's move you know, rallied very nicely from the lows, but gave some back into the close. You have a very clear area of resistance. Call it 47, 60, 48. If price can get above that zone and hold, perhaps we see 
the stop run date to the upside, that could take us quite a bit higher, perhaps back to 50 bucks. Uh, if there's a failure in this area here early in the day, if there's a significant failure of 47s, then we may be looking at a major push the opposite direction that takes out the 4435s and taking out four days of stops there would open up quite a bit of downside. So we're right at the pivot here watching to see how price behaves. Inside day could go either way, but the trend has been to the downside. Taking a look at gold here, you'll also notice that gold uh, rallied very nicely here recently off the Pima trigger zone came into the previous sessions high and close which is the previous months high and close and rejected somewhat yesterday today opening strong and testing highs yet again but also showing some uh, some tail at the top end of the range usually if we have the previous high and previous close very close to each other and it's an elongated month where price basically trended higher throughout the month that is usually an indication that any rejection of that zone could at least, at the very least, result in a retest of the previous month's midpoint. That would be just below the 1260s, and the exact level here would be 1257s, 1256s. And that would also coincide with the 1255.40 FOMC key level that also was created in December. So again, just like the broader markets here, if we see a rejection up here that we can believe in, perhaps we return back toward the FOMC key level for a retest, back toward the midpoint after an elongated month, and it could still be a buying opportunity down the road for longer term bulls. So right now, just watching, but the one thing I will caution is this has been about as bullish a market as it has been uh, in a while, and even of late has been one of the most bullish markets. So any uh, attempt to sell it down has to be short term. You got to mind your risk because at any point this thing can just rip right back up. So uh, be nimble if you are looking to take this back toward the FOMC key level. Lastly, let's take a look at the Russell 2000. If you see here, the Russell 2000 also had a, a strong rejection off lows near the 1250s and is now holding above the 1320 zone. Uh, very narrow range right now. You can see the four-day range that is developing. So this is a developing bar, not done yet. But the last time we had a signal like that was here, and what followed was quite a bit of volatility. And so again, I think this is building up for another round of a breakout attempt at some point. Uh, based off of the chart here and based off some of the key levels that we've been working off of, that 1620 level up above really gave the way down, which was here and then it dropped it right back to the lows and that's where we kind of took off recently uh, through those lows this rejection down here looks pretty strong and it would not surprise me again to see a bounce back up toward that broken support and back toward the FOMC key level which is around 1400 so if we zoom in a little bit it would be basically this FOMC key level that we're working off of strong rejection even if price were to drop down and reject, that could be a higher low failure. Boom, we could be returning right back to the 1397.60, which is the FOMC key level, followed by a test as high as 1420. Again, if this is a short-term bounce, it would not surprise me if longer-term bears here come in and defend and we see another round of weakness. But the near term suggests that the market is attempting to work higher, and we have very clear support to work off of here as well. And we have very clear targets to the upside. All right, that is it for now. Let's see how this plays out heading into the new day of trading. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room.